What's up gamers? Gamerdad here. This is a guide to help you complete the week one weekly quest, stage one of two, damage opponents with the flapjack rifle or SMGs. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that button, show me that support as well. Please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is Gamerdad, all one word, all caps. Thanks for your support. So for this challenge, you can damage opponents. This is players, NPCs, or bosses, and you have to use the flapjack rifle, brand new this season, or SMGs. So you can find all of these weapons on the ground or within chests, within the loot of dead players' bodies, but you can also buy them from some NPCs. So right here, west of the Citadel, is where you will find the NPC known as Phoenix. Once you approach Phoenix, you can buy the Combat SMG. Now I w must say, there's lots of SMGs around as, the fla as well as the Flapjack, so spending the gold is definitely not a necessity. Now this is east of Rumble Ruins or northeast of Hitches and Ditches. This is where you will find Innovator Sloan. And Innovator Sloan will sell you the Flapjack Rifle. So there you go. So there's two ways if you really don't want to do it. You can also go visit um, Volpez, Fenix's brother. He's south of Brutal Bastion, but again, if you just search around, you'll have no trouble coming across an SMG or a Flapjack Rifle. But I want to give you the options. So here's me actually going ahead and doing these challenges. This is actually my very first match. I've already found an SMG on the ground right off the bat. So it's that easy. And there's the Flapjack Rifle as well on the ground. So like I say, if you want to be real specific, you could land on an NPC and go on a tear. But you might as well just go uh, around and just pick up stuff off the ground with the chest and get the damage there. So I'm loving these vines. Coming off the vine here. Was a little bit lost tracking this person here, but I'm going to jump down, find them, and then unload with the combat SMG. Almost get taken out, and then I'm going to finish this off with the shotgun, but still get some of that damage there. So it's a total of 2,000 damage, which is a heck of a lot. That seems pretty excessive for week one in a stage one of two challenge. Uh, here we go with the flapjack, or actually no, I should say this is with the havoc suppressed. But I quickly switched over to my combat SMG. So you got to be careful when you're working on these challenges that you don't accidentally use the wrong gun and nail that damage and not have it count. One thing that I find frustrating is if you don't have the quest marked as active, it very rarely counts the or sh displays the damage these days, which is kind of annoying. So there was more. Basically, anytime I'm taking shots at people, I'm making sure I've got an SMG or the flapjack. What you want to do as well as you're doing this, you want to try to have as many uh, as much shields as you can. So 100 shields is ideal. Anytime you're, you know, you're not fighting, you want to try to heal up. These slap juices are great for healing either health or shields. Um, big and small shield potions are great. Med kits are great. It's going to take a lot of, a fair bit of grinding to get 2,000 total damage. As you can see at this point, I'm just below 600 of the 2,000. I'm a couple matches in at this point. This is a cool one here. I end up using that uh, the cannon, the Cybertron cannon. And then I end up pulling out the SMG to finish off these two people. The key with the SMGs is just holding that trigger down and getting and nailing it down. There's another uh, elimination. This match I was actually on a tear, and this is where I should have actually had a victory royale. Um, I'm at 1,300 damage now. Ten eliminations in this match. Here's another, this will be my last elimination and I just totally just missed it. So I end up with 1400 damage now. Last two people, I had 11 limbs, should have been 12. This is a time where it's like I heard somebody coming and I waited for them to come around the corner to catch them by surprise. Not only did I take them out, but I scored a, a crown, victory crown as a result. So it's not always best to just go run out. And here too, I was kind of playing silly and trying to hide from this person because I knew I was low on health. And it actually worked out well for me. 1800 damage of the needed 2000. So I'm going to come over here. I can hear some people fighting. And then this is actually going to 
almost get me the rest of my damage. I couldn't believe that this, you know, didn't put me over here. As you see, I'm coming in with that epic SMG. Take out player number one. Put up that wall just to slow that fire down. And then go in for the, the kill right here, up close and personal with that SMG. So I've got 1,929 damage left. I'm going to show you where I engage one more player. And against this player here, I finally get the rest of this damage. And finally, this challenge will complete be complete. 2,000 damage with Flapjack, Rifle, or the SMG. Whether the regular SMG or the combat SMG. So I do hope the guide is helpful for you. Please drop a like. Leave me a comment. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please hit that button. Show me that support. As well, please do use my creator code in your Fortnite item shop. It is GamerDad, all one word, all caps. Thanks for your support. Good luck with your challenges. And until the next video, this is GamerDad out.